Wait, can we talk about that? I mean, come on. We have yeah. to talk about that. I told you guys I was going to work, right? Yeah, weird. I know. And then we came to visit you and we saw the jail. <laughs> 40 miles an hour on the scene like, hey, Steady making moves, get the cream like, hey, Got to manifest on my destiny. On my destiny. Oh, uh, what they going to say. Hi, guys. This is going to be a fun episode since we're not having a reunion. I'm having my own. So we're going to have today Kim D and Jacqueline Larita joining us. So we're going to have our own reunion, Blast from the Past. And the second part of the episode is going to be Melania Judice, my daughter. And we're going to talk about our trip to Paris and her going to college and everything else. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the feedback and the downloads. I love you guys. So let's check out some of the reviews from the last episode. If people follow the Instagram account for uh -huh. the show, they obviously saw how amazing your first episode was and how it blew up all over the place, like on Apple uh -huh. Podcasts, Spotify, killed it. And the reviews were just um, raving about you and the show. So I, I think it'd be kind of cool if we read some reviews and gave some shout outs. You want to do that? Oh, thank Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Okay, cool. Yeah, so guys, I want, I, you know, I'm so grateful for all the reviews that you put out there. So we wanted to give a shout out to, you know, for the people that did that. So thank you so much. Yeah, and whoever's listening, coming on, you know, new for the first time listening to Turning the Tables, please rate, review, and subscribe to um, Turning the Tables and follow me on Instagram also, Turning the Tables by Teresa Judice. Okay, here we go. First one is from Gigi of Jackson. It says, I'm so excited that you're doing your own podcast. I love, love, love the first episode and can't wait to hear more about you and your beautiful family. You've been my favorite housewife. It's so nice to see you so happy with your newly blended family. Louis is amazing and you can tell he wears his heart on his sleeve. Tell him not to let the trolls get to him. I'm sure it's hard, but when you have the best of intentions, they try to twist and lie about everything he does. But tell him he has a lot of us good peeps who see right through all the bull and are 100% in his corner and think he's amazing. Congratulations, Tree. Catherine. Oh, Catherine, that was the sweetest message ever. Thank you so, so much. Because he does wear his heart on his sleeve. And poor guy didn't know what he was getting himself into when he met me. <laughs> I, you know, and thank God he didn't like run away because he is, you know, I'm not just saying that. I mean, I wouldn't be with him if he wasn't. And um, he treats my daughters like they're his own. And yeah, he's a really great guy. And it's, you know, I feel bad for him that the past two seasons, you know, it was hard for him, you know, especially, you know, some of it, some people or my family that, you know, did that to him. So I feel really bad. And, but you know what, this season, you know, I think it, Everyone's going to see, you know, his true, you know, what really was happening that people are putting lies out there. So I can't wait for everyone to see that. I can't wait for the season to be over. So everyone gets to see the truth. <laughs> and we recorded an episode with Louie a couple weeks ago or last week. And I can't wait for people to see that because talk about wearing his heart on his sleeve. It's for, it's true. I know. I can't wait for everyone to really um, hear that episode. Cause Pat, you said you started crying when you were here. Cause I Pat did was twice. here. Pat yeah. came here from Nebraska, set me all up in my studio, and he said, like, yeah, when he was listening to the episode with me and Louie, that he said he started crying. Like, yeah, it, he teared like up, and I was like, like oh, I like thought that twice. was really sweet. I'm a good, I'm a good detector of BS, and there was zero BS in that episode. It was yeah. a great one. Um, all right, here's another, here's another review, a little bit shorter one. This was from Addy It says, "Obsessed. Thank you for continuing to share your life with us." Teresa, love you. That's from Addie. Thank you so, so much for your beautiful review. Okay, there's another one. Uh, Turning the Tables with Teresa is a total vibe. She's getting real about how she became this amazing woman she is today, sharing her highs and lows. She's taking us on a journey through the moments that shaped her. Teresa's storytelling is on point, revealing the strength and growth that molded her into a fierce and empowered woman. Her words hit home, inspiring us to own our own stories and find courage in our resi uh, resilience. This podcast is fabulous. Get ready to find your inner boss with Teresa Judice's Turning the Tables. Like that sounded like a legit Amazon review. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Listen, we all go through things in life and like, you know, like anything else, we have to turn the tables and, you know, make it into a positive. I mean, my poor daughter, like for instance, right now, like um, Melania, she just got in an accident and mm -hmm. she's so sad, you know, because she just, I just got her a brand new car and she, she only had it for a month and the car, you know, the other guy ran a stop sign and, and she, you know, she's so upset, but I'm like, listen, it's okay. You know, 
things happen in life. We don't know why, but we just get, mm-hmm. you know, we can't be upset over it. We get to, you know, turn it into a positive and she's going to college in two months. So I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. And cars can be replaced. People can't. So as long as she's okay. I know. That's yeah, all that exactly. That's what I said to her. As long as mm-hmm. you're okay, that's all that matters. So. Yep. So true. Um, all right. Here's another review. This is from Love Charlie Peter. Well, so happy Tree decided to do a podcast of her own. I love hearing her tell stories about growing up in a close Italian family, even stories from when she was away, in quotes. She's a very multi- multifaceted woman. Can't wait for the next episode. Uh, thanks, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, I did grow up in a tight knit Italian family. And then I don't know what happened now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, you know, things change um, when different blood comes in. Things change in families. But, yeah, with the way, you know, I grew up in my family, my parents, oh, my God, they were the best, you know, old school. They're immigrants from Italy, came here right before I was born. My parents said they started me out in Italy, but I ended up being born <laughs> in America because <laughs> my mom didn't know. She, my mom, she had, she kept having miscarriages like the first two years that they were married. Then after two years they were married, they moved to America and she, her clothes were tight on her. So she went to the doctors and I think she was either four oh. or five months pregnant. Oh, geez. yeah. And she, and she didn't know. And then I was born, you know, w- you know, whatever, six months later, or whatever, because you're, you're almost pregnant for 10 months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was almost going to be born in Italy, but it ended up being in America. <laughs> well, being around your family for three days, you guys are a really tight knit family. And I've never, I was telling my wife this when I got home. I haven't been around a family that tells each other they love them as much as you guys do. Like it's been a really long time. Like even if the girls are just leaving for an hour, it's like, I love you or a call. I love you. Like all the time you guys are saying that. I think it's very sweet. It says a lot about your, who you guys are behind closed doors. Thank you. Um, you know, yeah, I'm so into the, I love you thing because I just want my kids to know how much I love them, you know, vice versa, Uh because growing up, my parents never told me they love me. I guess it was an old school Italian thing. And if you hear, if you ask a lot of Italians, I can, but you know, I can ask Kim. Well, Kim, her, her mother, I think was more American. So she, her mother probably told her because, oh guys, we're going to have Kim D and Jacqueline on next. So as um, special mm-hmm. guests, so we're going to talk about old time stories and about how we met and everything. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, so yeah, so my parents didn't tell me growing up that they love me. So when I had kids, I just wanted them to always know how much I love them. And that's, that's all, you know, we, we're always like that. Yeah. It's awesome to see it. It's I mean, evident. the first time my parents told me they love me was when Gia started t- saying it to them. So I had G like my kids. Changed oh, wow. That's my cool. Parents. Yeah. My kids like changed my parents. And like, you know, she, when Gia started saying it to them, I like to think of two or three years old. Then they started saying it to me. No. And we, and I, you know, and then they opened up more and we always tell each other we love it. Yeah. And then hanging up, we used to always tell, you know, say that I love you. Yeah. That's amazing. Two-year-old little Gia changed your parents. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. This is from Alexa. It says, loved episode one and can't wait to hear more. Perfect name for the podcast too. Been a fan since season one, always team Teresa. Thanks, Alexa. I know I was going, I was trying to figure out what name to call it, but um, yeah, I'm glad I picked turning the tables and the three T's are in there. That's right. So yeah. Right. So I'm excited. I did. Thank right, you. Those, those reviews were from Apple. There's a couple quick ones from Spotify too. Lynn says amazing. Finally, a platform that you don't need to be defensive and you can be your own true self. Love it. Congratulations. This is from another Lynn. I'm so proud of how far you've come. You're a true inspiration. I truly look up to you tree. You're a true survivor and you teach your girls how to be strong as well. Another one, I love Teresa. So nice hearing this beautiful pod with you unfiltered. Love, love, love you and your family. The girls in Louis are fabulous. Love, love, love you. XX tree hugger here. And then this is from John. Excited to see a new chapter in your life. Tree, keep this uh, going. So that's from John, Deb, Lynn, and Lynn. And those are all Spotify. Thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. And see, like you said, rate, review, and subscribe because it helps people. You yes, are- please, guys, rate, review, and subscribe. It means the world to me. You are uh, number one in the TV and film category and Apple and number two in Spotify and overall global podcasts. You were in the top 30, which is huge. So oh, congratulations. Awesome. I'm, I am so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to dip out of here. Thank you to you- the fans. Th- th- that's yeah. why, you know, that's why anytime I see a fan out there, I, n- I'm, I never act like a diva. Anybody out there, everyone's take a picture of me. 
I always, I never say no. Cause I feel like if it wasn't for them, then, yeah. you know, we wouldn't be, you know, we wouldn't be where we are mm-hmm. because they're That's the so ones true. that, yeah, watch our shows. So, so I'm really yeah. grateful. So thank right. you guys. All right. So if you want to set up the episode, what's, what's going on today? What's happening? So guys, since we're not having a reunion, I figured let's have our own reunion and bring on blast from the past kim d and jacqueline <laughs> oh my old friends i'm so excited i know so jacqueline long. lives so far now i can't even see her all the time and i mean kim you're local so yeah i'm local yeah. you could see me anytime. yeah i know i know, I know. but it's so crazy because now you're so busy too you have your podcast and it's like it's like t- times are different now right jacqueline like before when we yeah. first had the little kids it was like we have more time now it's like I know we're we're like busier now, you know, Like we're all doing more. We're just all doing more. We we women do more than the men. Well, I feel like I'm doing less now. (laughs) Oh, well, that's good, Jack. It's like I'm retired. I want to say something though. Teresa, my mother didn't say, my mother didn't say I love you. It's a generation. Wait, one second, one second. What's up, Melania? Oh, I'm doing my podcast. I get to you. (laughs) she kept calling me that's right keep it in i I texted her i said i'm doing my podcast and she kept texting me so they don't care they call all right kim i was saying about my mom my mother and my but they didn't say i love you either although i'm sure they love me i think it's a generational thing now everyone's saying it more jacqueline i don't know about you but i i didn't have that either i I never had her say it because you're your mom seemed more. Your mom was born here, right, Kim? Your mom was yes, born in America. Yes. Yeah. So I did, I thought she, yep, well, maybe yeah. your mom would be you know more like that. What about your parents, Jacqueline? Did they tell you they yeah, loved you? Did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so guys, I figured we're gonna have our own reunion since I'm not having a reunion on the house on New Jersey Housewives. So I figured right, you yep, know, you're better good. off, Teresa. This is so, fun. Um, I want to, Kim. I want you to tell everybody how we first well you know what i'm gonna pick jacqueline first because i met jack yeah. first yeah so jacqueline tell everybody how we met because i don't know if everybody knows how um, we met. i had moved to new jersey and i was hanging out with dina a lot and she was trying to introduce me to people there that like she was friends with and in the area and well we just happened to go to a gro- do you remember which grocery store that was we went into a grocery store wait i think it was wasn't it on Valley it Road? Work. And it was, it was like, a, like, a, like a like a gourmet healthy. place? Yes, it was like a gourmet healthy place. And you were there. You had just had Gia. And she was like in her little bath. You were so cute with your like perfect little bubble butt, like your cute little figure. I'm like, how does this girl just have a baby? Look at her body. <laughs> like You were like so tight. And like your butt. They were, they were like, this girl. And it was so cute. And then Gia, I just remember her in the carriage that you had her in and these like big beautiful eyes i was like look at this baby with these like big beautiful eyes I, that's one thing i remember about yeah. her she was so tiny and cute i don't know how how old she was but she had to been little she was little she was in the bassinet oh she was yeah she was little wow big bow in her hair yes oh my god she got yeah. <laughs> the times like <laughs> yeah so she that's so how cute. we met so it, then you were with dina shopping and then that's how we met right so we met, yeah. Yeah, and, and that we, was it. And then ever since when we met, we were like, then we started hanging out and we were like inseparable. Like in, instant, yeah. Like instant friends. Like I remember when I first saw you, I was like, oh my God, who, she's so pretty. I was like, you had these, these this, your breasts. I was in this little <laughs> <laughs> waist. And you, I was, you had your breasts, like because you know, they they look so good, you know. And, and listen, I yes. I admire beautiful women. Like I, I, I I'll say it, so like, you I. know. I think yeah. I mean, I I like looking at beautiful people. Why not? You know. <laughs> so I remember her body. I was like, oh my god, her body's so sick. Her legs. I remember her legs were like she was so fit, and her. You look yeah. to me. Okay. Uh, no, you look. You still look good. Oh my god, when I saw her in Vegas, Kim. Oh my god, I was just like, she she looks the same. So then let me ask you guys a question. Oh, so yeah. now you meet, you're hanging out. Let me ask oh, you. Yeah, so now we're how, gonna get to when you. They, how do they come to do the show? Like now, now you're friends. Who do they come to first, Jack? And then how do you get asked? And how does Teresa get asked to be on the show? Um, well, they went to the local salon and they were just asking about women in town. And they 
mentioned Dean and I, and then we kind of started giving them, um, I think tre- uh, Dean and I both said you, um, uh, and they were just asking, you know, who we knew. I think Dolores was, we had asked Dolores too. Uh, okay. But she couldn't do it at the time because I think her boyfriend or something, I can't remember. Yeah, he didn't want her to do um, it. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, they... Teresa took the longest to sign the <laughs> sign the really why T why <laughs> I know everybody got so mad at me they're like we, we don't even want to talk to you anymore like he's like I kept asking him, like what is this like I wasn't sure you know I didn't know what it was I was like I don't yeah. you know I didn't they're like Jersey moms were like what do you mean what is yeah this? I was like confused by it and then I I mean I yeah I just wasn't sure what I was getting myself into and at the time I didn't have it's not like I even gave it to a lawyer. I didn't give it to a lawyer to sign. I, th- I think I talked about this last week. And then eventually, Kim, I never even let a lawyer see it. I signed it, gave it yeah. to Jacqueline. We were together. I yeah. signed it. I gave I it to Jacqueline. Wow. And I was like, just, yeah. and she, and then, just and sign then, it. And then she took Joe. it in the FedEx box. Yeah, I'm all about the adventure. <laughs> I have no idea. So you know what the people don't know? They don't know that it was only six episodes. It was you six. only did six episodes. It was six weeks of filming. That was it. And wait, guys, I don't even remember that. And you guys remember this. That's yeah. so crazy. <laughs> filming. It was like yeah. nothing. And I never watched reality TV. I didn't even understand, like, who was going to even watch it. I was like, oh, so what? I just know, like, when we were together, we're like, oh, if anybody ever saw this or, you know, so it'd be funny or whatever. So uh, we were like, I don't know. We just sort of jumped in, like not thinking it was going to be a big deal. Barely anybody would see it. It was just like, let's see what happens behind the scenes of these things. And let's see what this is all about. We're, they're just going to follow us doing our daily thing anyway. Who cares? And for me, it was a way to, because I wanted to go back to work. And CJ at the time was just starting, I think, kindergarten or something. And I was like, now I have a full day. I could do whatever. And this is a way I could make money and also be home with my family and hang out with my friends. Yeah. Like, I didn't yeah. know what it was. That's I didn't good. Know what I mean, that was good. Was. <laughs> I know. Not, none of us did. You got lucky because Carlos King is the best. And he was, was your producer, right? Wasn't Carlos King the first two years? First couple yeah. of years? Carlos was uh, yeah, the best. Yeah, he seasons he was. But yeah, he was good. Because nice. he has a way about him of just bringing out everything. I don't know. He was really good like that. I wonder if we could talk about this. Jack, remember the furniture store? Oh, my God. They they were handing you the money. Like- Wait, can we talk about that? I mean, come on. We yeah. have to talk about that. I mean, even yeah. though of course you I can think talk that's about why that. the government even, like, I think, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I even think that that's why the government <laughs> came after us, you know? The producers were like, I think it'd be cool if you paid in cash. And we're like, we only have this much cash on I know. it. So I, had to, wait, I had 200 on me. Jacqueline yeah. had 300 on her. She always had cash on her. I never, yeah. I mean, that day I ended up having 200 on me. Jacqueline had 300. They gave you a bunch of like whatever mixed in. So it looked like, like a lot. They gave her more money. See they that? That's I know. wild. I don't even think That's... they did. Jacqueline, they just, it was no? 300 and my 200. That was it. It was $500 bills. I and I went like that. Dinner. I feel like I remember them giving you money. And then they were like, just act like you're paying. Did it looked like you want more than that? And with. There was like a hundreds mixed in with others, like smaller bills. Yeah, but not, they were. You're gonna go pay cash, and you're gonna give twenties and tens. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> Love it. You know, we're like, yeah, paying cash. So, you know? guys, what, I, what we're trying to say is that when they show, when I went to that furniture store, I think it was season one, right? Was it season huh? one, Jacqueline? It was season so. one, and they showed how much my furniture was, like a hundred and forty thousand, whatever it was, and they, and they, and then I, they, then I'm hearing. What? Keep point, you know, giving out hundred dollar bills, like you know, counting out hundred dollar bills, and then they showed the calculator. It looked like I had all that money cash yeah. on me. Was it? <laughs> I mean, who, oh wait, first of all, who would it's walk so- around? I would have had to walk I, around and with two briefcases, Jack, that I had my I know, and I think they didn't they even like give you a discount or gifted you on some of it too, just because it was being shown on TV. So like, I it's mean, not like you were like, a little bit of a discount. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was, yeah don't know. And they just made it look like you were spending all this cash. And we thought it was funny. That is time. hysterical. Yeah, guys, I didn't pay by cash. No. Yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> no, I did not do that. 
I think I don't even. Yeah. I think maybe probably like my chest. The briefcases were in the car. The briefcases were in the yeah, car. Like, with the I walked in with my handbag, my Louis Vuitton handbag. I even remember the handbag yeah. I had. It's like, yeah, I would. I mean, guys, what I'm, people don't realize is the show's not scripted, but it is produced. There are producers. They move the show along, and yeah. they make certain things happen, and being talked about, and moving things along, and you know, things that are being talked about outside the show. If it's public, they talk about it in the show, like. It's a produced show, it, but it's not scripted. It is your life, but it's also produced. Like you're not going to go hang out with people you can't stand being around, you know? <laughs> but, right. You're right. Is your well, a show now they do. Yes, you know. Yeah, now they do. But back then it, yeah. it was real friendships. Back yeah. then it was real friendships. I yeah. know. See, it, it really I mean, did you know, start I out don't know. with us being all friends. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, Teresa, I thought. I thought the first time that I met you was in Caroline Manzo's backyard. You were eight or nine months pregnant. Tell us when we met. I want, I want you to tell me the story yeah. when we met. Well, let me ask you this. Jacqueline would know too. Jacqueline, did I meet Teresa first at the photo shoot? Yes, Teresa. Uh, we weren't introduced. So I go, Danielle Staub asks me to go with her because she's afraid of everyone. When she met me at Posh and then I met Jacqueline, this is what she said. They're a bunch of animals. <laughs> they want to kill me. They want to do this. They want because you flipped the table. Oh. So I go to your first I photo shoot. Wait, I think I remember now the photo shoot in, in um, where was it? Atlantic City? New York and New oh, York City. New York. In New York. Oh, like Some like I had the purple fringe dress on that photo shoot. You and you had the black halo. The black oh, halo dress. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. And I can when Jacqueline was doing her photo shoot, they let me sit out. I was talking to Carlos. Fast forward next season. And then this is the first time I really meet Teresa. I'm in Caroline Manzo's backyard. They make it seem like I'm sitting at your guys' table. Teresa wasn't there yet. But the producers made you all sit at my table because I was there with Michael. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, I turn around and I see this one, Teresa, big pregnant, sitting next to me. And then we start talking. And that's how we met Teresa. And then we we had such a great time wait, that wait, night. We were you in Caroline's were backyard. I mean, I remember that party. What party was that? Yeah, for the fundraiser. Oh, it was a fundraiser I for Jerry Special. came with Michael. That, that I had a table of 10 there. Okay. We had a table of 10. We were all wasted. We were all having a good time. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's that good. Was that bad. was like a long time ago. Like that was a long wait, time. It was like 15 years ago. Yeah. It was like 15, right? Because yeah. like, yeah. when yeah. the show happened 15 years 14, ago. 14. Yeah. For, because what? It's no, season it's 14. 14 so it's it was 15, the second season. It's 15 years because um, Lucilla texted me Mother's Day this year. Was the show was on fifth? That was fifteen year anniversary when the show started. Because well, I know my wow. filming was CJ's sixth birthday party. Was my first day of filming. And how old is he now? Twenty two. <gasps> so twenty two minus. Oh my god. Fifteen. Twenty two minus six. By the time we aired, I think. Yeah. Twenty two. Wait, what's twenty two minus six? When did you air, Jacqueline? You guys filmed over the summer or no? Right, because you went to the Atlantic May, City. Remember, you guys went to Atlantic City. My first day of filming was May twenty fourth, or at least it had to have been around CJ's sixth birthday. Yeah, and you went to Atlantic City. That was my favorite episode. It really was when you guys went to Atlantic City wait, and 20, and wait, sorry, I just did it. Twenty two minus six. I can't. It's six. It's sixteen. Sixteen. Yes, but I, think they, I think they may have gone from when it aired because it didn't uh, air for like a year. So I think that's why uh, they're saying sixteen because when it wait, aired. So when we filmed it, it didn't air for a year, really. Yeah. Remember, we they sat for a long time before it aired. Uh, why? Oh wow! Where did you guys get paid uh, the first oh my year? God, how embarrassing was the first season that we even? Go ahead, say it. I, I don't think we can by contract, but it was very low, <laughs> very yeah, low. Was okay, was it less than was it less than ten thousand? No, no. But no. was it less than but, twenty thousand? No, no, no. All right, okay. Yeah, but, but that, I mean, yeah, not that much higher. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Bad. We had no idea. And then the next season, we got smart, and we were like, "Wait, what?" We're like, we we figured out we we're supposed to be making so much more, so we like. 
got a lot more the second yeah, season. Yeah, I mean, my housewarming right. party, I remember that first year was over 10000 And then Ugh. the clothes we bought, it's like what I made, I spent, you know? So it was like not that yeah. much, yeah. It's like, I was at that housewarming party. Yeah. No, I know. I, 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 Joe's like, you're going to work? And he's like, you just spent everything. You just, you're like, he's like, <laughs> like, he's like, you didn't even make any money, fun. you know? I know. Yeah, we were just doing it for fun. Why not? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was for fun, yeah, you know? so much fun. I just feel like the show is kind of a person, a lot of ways I've seen over the years, like with marriages and businesses and friendships, and it's just done a lot of harm in a lot of ways. But at the same time, you're offered like, you know, other opportunities. I mean, there's definitely a big plus and a big minus that come with it, you know? Yes. There's a lot of perks that come with it, and there's also negative. I mean, like with Teresa and I, we were friends for what, seven years before we started filming? We never got yeah. in one argument, not one time in seven years. And we hung out all the time. Like not no, one fighting, not one I mean, problem. we would talk on the phone for hours, hours. Like every day. And uh, no yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, Joe, I would, never, we would wake up, we would be on the phone. She, you know, she said yeah. goodbye to Chris. I'm, it's like they, our husbands knew that we were always on the phone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like never. And then the show, you know, Kim, you too. You were on the phone with us too for <laughs> what's the show? Listen, I was on the phone with you guys, and then Jacqueline would have to go to sleep, and I had to stay up and watch. She was folding towels and folding laundry, and I finished the conversation. <laughs> I know, that's you the know, because sometimes Jacqueline would be like, "I'm exhausted." Yeah, that's what Kim said. <laughs> we all three of us would like, talk. You guys all three of us would talk. A better memory than I do. I mean, yeah, because like Kim's like, we used to be on the phone till twelve thirty at night while you were doing laundry, and I'm like, yeah, that's right, I used to do laundry. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Some people are not phone people and like we are phone people. So we could talk and do our chores all day long, clean the house, do the laundry, feed the kids, yes. whatever. And just stay on the phone the entire time. It's like <laughs> some know. people are all people are very short and they'll just like hang out, you know, it's like a quick whatever. Yeah, I, like, I, like, I like talking on the phone, you know. <laughs> that was one of my questions for you guys. Text or phone? Phone. phone. I mean, phone. I Jacqueline's good with texting. I don't have, I don't like it. You know what I do? I talk into my phone and then I have misspells oh. and everything, you know, but I like yeah. to pick up the phone, you know, if you know, yeah, I guess if I'm not in the Jacqueline, mood. you talk too, though. Jacqueline talks. Yeah. Jacqueline's a talker. I could talk. I'm really yeah. bad at hanging up. So the other person has to almost be like, I gotta go. Cause I could just keep <laughs> the conversation. Going the <laughs> what about you, Kim? Text or talk? At this point, I swear. Now, remember, I'm a little older than you ladies. You wait until you get to my age. Now it's text. Yeah. I mean, I have witnesses here. I used to be a yacker. <laughs> now I'm more of a text. You know what I mean? But believe me, your, your age and before, all I did was, and I talked on my home phone and my cell phone, and I had two cell phones. So all I did was talk. Now you get a little tired. You know, you're a little different now. So now I'm like... Oh. Sometimes when the phone rings, I'm like, oh, no. Like, I have to talk now. So I text. No, yeah, but I was a talker. Listen, after 50, oh, I noticed the big difference in, after 50. Everything Dude. just started, like, aging Don't faster. Don't say that. Don't say that. Uh, <laughs> no, we all look good. We all look great. We don't look our age. I'm like, so Listen, we're doing our best. You got to remember, I'm after 50 and I'm 60. Do you understand? Like, that's it now. I was just like Teresa. Me and Michael went everywhere in my 50s. Yeah. I, we traveled everywhere. And then all of a sudden, and it's not that I can't do it. It's just you get different. It's just like you don't, you you just get more comfortable at home. I, and you and you guys like your home. I do like yeah. So you're going to be the same way. I can predict it. You're going to be the same way. Yeah, no. And we're tourists. I mean, well, like, this, it's yesterday, Father's Day, we relaxed all day. That's what we did. We were like, we... We wanted yeah. to stay home by the pool and relax. Like we didn't want to go out. There you go. We wanted to enjoy the house, you know? And that's what happens too. I feel like the show, like I was very extroverted and liked to go out a lot until the show. And then I became so introverted and so like I had social anxiety after I did the show and I didn't want to go anywhere or do anything. Like I literally like avoided going out because I had such social anxiety after doing the show. Why Jacqueline? Why? No, I just, it just happened. It was really bad. And then until I moved here, I've been going out more here than I have anywhere else in my life. <laughs> like yeah. now we go out all the time. You know what Jacqueline? That's, that's, I, I love that you're bringing that up because that's how yeah. I feel too. Cause like, 
you know, even like my, you know, my friends are like, let's go to the beach on a Monday, you know, fun day. What, what's yeah. it called? Monday, fun day. Monday, you know? Monday, fun day. Yeah. Cause like, you know, it's like, that's like when, oh, and they call it, um, what do they call it? Strippers and haircutter wait when hairdressers <laughs> and strippers go to the because they go to tiki bar yeah what's it called that, that day mondays it's called something like hairdressers and because your hairdressers are off on monday yeah on, at like, the tiki bar they will go on monday yeah and i think they say strippers and hairdressers or something like that do, do, oh, is God, that a okay. saying is that a saying or no no, no, no. Right. it's the saying now no anyway so my friends are like let's go to the beach on a monday and then i was just like oh like they want to go to Donovan's and I'm like, Donovan's is like, so it's like a small beach. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it's gonna too many people, you know? And it's yep, like, yeah, yeah. It's like we get, and then it's like, then you have to worry about somebody taking a picture of you right. or, you yes. know, like if you're not sitting the right way and then taking an awful I'm picture. Like, exactly. you. I'm like anybody that comes up to me to take a picture with me, I'm like, can you put a filter on that shit, please? Like I can't I even of that yeah more. Put it- and i don't like selfies i hate the way i look when somebody takes a selfie i hate that i, know, I hate but, it oh god this is gonna be terrible yeah so trust me yeah, but i deal I, with anxiety like concerts, really bad now too Jen. like concerts i get anxiety like i like to be in the suite not yeah, it's anxiety just because yeah. it's like with a lot of people it's like yeah because then yeah, just- you get recognized i mean a lot you're still on tv and i mean i still get recognized i haven't been on tv in how many years like it's so i can't imagine for you and it does. It makes you become, do you just want to be home and with people that you know and trust and you don't really, because you, when you go out, you feel like you're like in a fishbowl and everyone's staring at you. And I don't know, it's like a very uncomfortable. Do you think it changed since COVID? I think my anxiety since, cause I liked being home when we had that. And I think my, well, my anxiety got worse when my mom passed, but yeah. I deal with it real bad. Like I couldn't get off my couch sometimes or my chair from oh. anxiety. I don't like crowds now for a number of reasons. Yeah. And the, the being getting sick reason or whatever. Like I just feel that it got worse. That's me. I just feel it got worse. I just yeah. got over COVID again. I had it again. Oh yeah, she just had it. Go. Yeah, she just had it. I know it's it's going yeah. around in California. So if if anybody doesn't know, Jacqueline lives in California. So you go now. So Woo! yeah, now it's like she now she moved from Vegas. We rekindled our friendship. Um, I went out to Vegas and then, you know, I was missing her and we both had Nicholas. Let me see. Let me hear about your luncheon. Like what happened when you first saw each other? What exactly? Oh when my you God, first we saw just each picked other? up right where we left it off. Crazy. It was crazy because, you know, before that, I mean, I feel like, you know, from being on the show and everything, you know, I had people in my ear who like, I, I kind of have to back it up because when I first came on, like when her family came on the show, I knew how bad that was like bothering her. And she almost wanted to quit the show because of it. And I, in my head, I'm like, oh, if I get them to make up and they're fine, then it'll be fine to film because it's like, I got to film with these people now. Like, I don't want to be fighting with them either. But like, if I could get everybody good, then we could all film together and it'll be safe and they won't be like after her or like whatever. And then and then I think it made you uncomfortable and then you kind of pulled away from me a little bit. And then I've got them in my ear and Teresa, they kind of were manipulating by kind of telling us things that it, it was like making me feel bad for her about things. And then they would tell me things that maybe you were saying behind my back. And at the time, I, you and I never had a problem. And then I was like, is she saying these things? Because she did pull away a little bit. Maybe she did say these things or you know, whatever. And they were in the ear and it just like over time, like you distance yourself more than they were, you know, and and it just, we got like pulled apart for a lot of reasons. Yeah. And, I'm and trying, if, if yeah. I distant myself, you know what it was because, you know, cause we were so close and you knew what was going on there. Yeah. So that's yeah. why, and then, you know, and like, I don't like to fight, so I really don't. And then that's why I distant myself. Cause I was like, Jacqueline should really know, you know, like she should really know. I- I thought, like, I thought you would know why I was distancing myself because I just yeah. wanted to get, you know, I'm like, you know, cause I, I think and that's it, what was hard because we were on the show, like before the show ever yeah. started, I could care. Less, like Melissa was at a couple of your parties. I could care less to talk to her. I wouldn't even bother with her because I like, it was just, you know, but because we were now all casted on a show, it's like, now we're all faced with each other. It's like, how do we, how do we juggle this? So it became a problem. No, I know. Yeah, I mean, I mean we should we we should have talked about it more, but we just didn't, you know, like because I didn't want you to think that 
you know. I and mean, then I ended up hating you for a show together. <laughs> Unfortunately, not by not by my decision, you know. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Well, you got producers in your area. You have cast. I mean, it just it's really hard to maintain a friendship and a relationship when you're filming a show together. That's like constantly being it's just a lot of pressure. And plus I went through a lot at the time with Nicholas being diagnosed and I was like, not in a good headspace at all. Like I was shot. So there was just a lot of factors. So I ended up eventually we got so estranged that it was like, I hated her for hating me kind of, I felt like rejected and like, I felt like she doesn't like me. So now I don't like her then, you know, it was kind of it was stupid. And yeah. I always like, that was my way of like dealing with it, I guess, is like, if I stayed angry at her, then I wouldn't be as hurt. And then when she finally like had reached out to like me, it just all of a sudden, it's like, I'm not on the show anymore. I don't have to deal with the pressures of hitting us against each other and all this stuff. And I was just able to like let down my walls. And my husband was like, I think you should meet with her. I, I think you should. Like he always thought that we should talk and, you know, and get through that because we had such a good friendship before. So I was curious because like I didn't know what it was going to be when we met. I, I didn't know what to expect. But literally the second I saw her, it was like, I don't know. It was like no time had passed. There were no cameras in our faces. There were no pressures from other people. It was just us. And just seeing her, I felt like I just saw my sister that I hadn't seen in a, you know, in a while. It was like, it just felt comfortable, like right away. And we just sort of sat down, ordered our Bellinis or whatever. <laughs> I we think went I, to, I oh, we went, Kim, we went to Cipriani's. Cipriani's. Love yeah. it. In Vegas. Love it. And Love it. to me, it just, felt good and it felt sincere and it wasn't like because you know when the camera's on you're like are they being sincere are they just doing this for the cameras are they doing this for the viewers are they like you kind of doubt like what's sincere what's not and when it was just us you could feel that it was real and it just felt good and and it just I felt like we picked up and I was just to me I just let go of anything in the past at that point because the show kind of puts different pressures on you and people, yeah. you know, being around other people. And so to me, it was, it was like a relief. I, I, it was like a total relief. Like I felt really good about it. Did you feel that way too, Teresa? Yes. Like what made me reach out to her is like, I was going to Vegas and it's like, see how God, like what happens in life? Like, that's why you never, you don't ever know what's going to happen in life. Like here I meet Louie and you know, his first son, his name is Nicholas. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I texted her, I just texted her. I'm like, I'm coming to Vegas. I said, uh, you know, would you like to meet? And, you know, I said, I'm coming with Louie, uh, you know, the four of us could meet. And um, yeah. And we just met and like me and her talked and Louie and Chris talked and, and it was like, it was beautiful. And we, I mean, we, we were That's there nice. for like, that is beautiful. I think Five we hours. were there for like, how long Jacqueline? Three Five hours. hours. Five hours. Five hours. Five hours. <laughs> We wouldn't have been there longer, but you had to get to the concert. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. I was going to a concert with Mark D'Amelio and Heidi. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. And I heard, and I know you guys talk, right? You oh, still yeah. talk all the time now? Oh, yeah. But, and then we, we just, she told me a lot of things that I knew, <laughs> you know, which I said yeah. at the reunion last year. And I was just like, I couldn't, you know, I already, like, you know, and then to hear it, and I know Jocelyn, she was a lie, you know? And, you know, to, to tell me all this stuff that I had to hear, I was just like, oh, my God, which, that, you know, it was good for me to hear. Yeah. And that, and that wasn't the first time when we talked about that. When when we talked the first time, we didn't really bring any show, that kind of stuff up. It was a little bit later we started talking and, you know, I just told her every day I wanted to be like real and upfront. Transparent. Transparent. And, yeah. So yeah. we had a really good yeah, conversation. But I'm, I'm glad we re we. We rekindle our friendship. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kim, congratulations on your book. Thank you. Yeah. The, thank so you. And I want to thank both of you for writing forwards for me. I'm going to send you both one, but this is the cover. It looks so, so good. good. And that's the back. Yeah. Right. And then both of your, your forwards. Oh, let me just show you the pictures I picked actually, real quick. And then we're. I'm actually reading um some of your book now. You had sent me a. um. Yeah, the PDF. Yeah. Here's the one. Here's the about you. I didn't even Jacqueline. know. 
Oh, oh, you put a yeah, picture. Well, with... Nobody knows anything. They're gonna find oh, out. So and you then there's me and Teresa. Of you and Jacqueline. Oh, hold on. And then there's me and Teresa I, I, uh, because you wrote the forwards for yeah, me. Yeah. Oh, I love that. You know, I mean, it's beautiful what you girls did for yeah. me. It's really beautiful, <laughs> and I appreciate that. You know. Well, I, you I'm know, Kim, you. let's That's tell it. everybody like why we had a falling out and how we rekindled. <laughs> there's so much more with. Kim D and Jacqueline in my next episode. So make sure you subscribe. So now let's talk to Melania Judice. Hi, Melania. Hi, mom. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you so much for being on Turning the Tables on my podcast. Hey, Turning the Tables. Do you like, <laughs> do you like the name? I love the name. It really suits you. Thank you. It's like my it. first memoir. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right here. See? I know. I know. I like it. Oh. See, like in life, we I all... like it. It's a good name. You like the name? And it like means a lot of things, I feel like. And I also, I like it because you flipped a table and I like it because you turn tables. Like, right. And how do I turn tables? Like, you're the best mommy. Like, you grow every day. You become better. Well, you're always the best. So, I mean, you, you say that you want to grow and become better, but I don't really know what you mean by that because I think that you're the best. Aw, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. No, meaning like in life. We well, have yeah, to... you just say that you don't want to like freak out or get like give people your energy. Yeah, and like, well, I mean like, you know, when I flipped the table, like I never, you know, I've never done that before. <laughs> that was the first time I did that. And I don't ever want to get to that place again. Yeah, you just said that you don't like, like you don't want to get angry how you used to. Yes, and I feel like, you know, I've come a long way and I think... Yeah, and that's why I hope well, you guys learn from me. Cause I think that you were like that just because, like, <laughs> you were, like, a strict mommy. And, like, you were, like, very, like, this when we were younger. Remember? But I, was then, very o I was so OCD, yeah, right? Yeah. When you were, like, when we were younger, you were, like, but then, like, as you got older, you, like, kind of, like, let it go. I let the things yeah. go a little bit more, right? <laughs> You're, like, okay. I know. I see. It's so You started going with the flow more as you got older because that's, like, with life, you have to go with the flow because... Can't control things. Yeah, I guess you know what, Louis and I were just sp speaking at, about this. Like you emulate your parents. Like how your parents are is the way how you are. So like my parents were like really strict with me. So I kind of you know that's how I started out started with you guys. Out. Yeah, like with Gia, I was so I, mean, I was so different with Gia than than I. Well, was I feel with like you guys. every parent says that they were the most strict with their first child. Every parent says that. Right. But I mean, with us, there was a different situation because of, you know, our legal situation. Well, we no, had to I know, go but through. I'm talking about in general, like everybody says, like, they're the most strict with their first kid because it's their first kid. But right. And then, you know, when you do get more lenient as, as it depends how many kids you have. Because yeah. that's like a lot being like that for all of your kids. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, listen, my, you know, you could be, but um, it's also annoying and like, and I like how you are. We're like you're like I'm. Well, I'm honestly scared of you. Like I don't like I don't want to get you mad. <laughs> you are, but yes. Okay, good. I want you to be. No, I'm not very <laughs> scary. But I wanted everyone to know about um, what you thought of our Paris trip. I loved Paris, and yeah, I so want you to tell everybody how it all came about. And like, um, you know, how you came to me and everything. Well, so I've had literally the longest week of my life. Like I've done so much in a spam. I don't even think it's been a full week yet. So Thursday I had my senior prom. It was so much fun. And I like had the best time ever. All my friends came and we had the, such a good time. And my mom set it up so nice in my backyard. But anyways, and like you asked me if I wanted a graduation party or a graduation gift. And I was like, no. I don't want that. Like, I don't really care to have that because, like, that's just, like, a, what a party is, like, one day and, like, like whatever. That, then you have to clean up, and it's annoying. And I don't <laughs> like parties. <laughs> like, it's annoying having people at your house. So I don't even like that. And you, like, have to, like, right? It's annoying having people at your yes. house. Yes. So, uh, listen, I was so happy when you were, like, no it's graduation annoying. So party. I was like, Mom, can I please go to Paris with Stephanie and her mom. We'll all go. It'll be like a girl trip. And then last well, minute. tell them who Stephanie is. Stephanie's my best friend. Everyone knows who Stephanie is. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Stephanie was in the in your song, right? Yeah. I Stephanie was in my song. And you're saying your video. In your video. My besties, Tay Tay and Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie was also my music video. Stephanie has been my best friend for literally 
my entire life. We've been best friends since forever, and I think we're going to be best friends forever. We are going to be best friends forever. Like She's been my best friend forever, and I love that. I've had, like, one best friend my whole life, and she's, like, seen it all. Like, you want to know something weird, Mom? What? Stephanie was every single time, like, I know this is, like, really, like, sucks, but every single time that, like, my, like, one of my grandparents have passed away, I was with Stephanie. Every single time. I got, like, the call or whatever. I was with Stephanie. Isn't that crazy? I know. I remember when... Um, Nono Franco passed yeah, away. Yeah, when my we father, my ex-father-in-law passed away. We, I was at Julie's house. Yeah, you were. We were hanging out at her yeah, house. We were at Stephanie's house. And, and Daddy called and said, that he, you know, that he found him on the floor in, our, in, our, in the side of her house. I was like, What? Yeah, I, I remember that so vividly. And then, well, oh, and then, and then the I was hanging t- out with Stephanie. I remember I was hanging out with Stephanie. We were like in bed, like laughing so hard. And then you called me. You were like, Nona, like, I don't think Nona's gonna make it. And I was like, what? And I made Julie drive me home right away. And it was so sad. And then, Nona, I was also with Stephanie. It was crazy. I'm like, Stephanie has like literally been with me forever. And like, we were talking about the shore house, and I thought, like, we had a shore house so long ago. Like, I've, like... In, in LBI. In LBI, we had a shore house so long ago. For, like, 11 and years. And we were talking about it, and I was like, Stephanie, have you ever been to the shore house? And she was like, yes. You don't remember? But it's, like, so crazy. Like, Stephanie, like, has really, like... She's seen it all. She's been my best friend Wait, for forever. Did you, were you at pre, you weren't at preschool with her, so so you've been best friends with her since kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like seen everything. But yeah, so Stephanie is my best friend, and her mom. I love her mom. Julie's so cool. Yeah. Her mom is like she has like we have like two cool moms. They're very cool moms, and they are so fun in Paris. So we asked them if we could go to Paris, and they were like, "Yes, let's go to Paris." I mean, because obviously. Our moms are cool, so they would want to go to Paris. No, but you know what I love about that? First of all, you looked absolutely gorgeous on your prom day. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Like, you looked stunning. Yeah. I like, like, stunning. I was so happy. I loved my dress. My dress was so pretty. Like, Laura was, like Laura's dresses are, like, absolutely stunning, and I loved my dress so much. It was well, so Well, tell fun. everybody where they could follow you on Instagram so they could see your photos. Just look up my name on Instagram with two Gs. So spell it out. M-I-L-A-N-I-A dot G-G-I-U-D-I-C-E. And you'll find all my pics there. And I just went to prom again yesterday. So I'm literally, I'm like, had did so much this week. I went to Paris, two proms. <laughs> <laughs> and was, I went you to I had Stephanie's bed too. party. I had Nicholas's birthday. And this was all in a spam. Well, of you not know what I week. heard? I was, not I, even I went to a party um, yesterday, a um, 15 year anniversary party for Indy Cohen oh. and, um, Utah, cause there was a housewives from Utah there. Yeah. They don't do bed parties. Yeah. So a lot of people don't. Yeah. So she said, I took your idea, you know, and, uh, like that, what you did for Melania and she did it for, she did it for her kids. For, yeah, oh, for her, yeah. Cause she's yeah. like, you guys don't do bed parties. A lot of people don't. Like, well, no. Bed parties is also a new thing. Bed parties started with COVID. Like a lot of people, you tell them what bed party is and they're like, what? What is a bed party? Like right. a lot of people don't know what it is. Tell them what a bed party is. A bed party is pretty much all your friends surprise you. They all like make a group chat without you in it. And like all like your, whatever, your close friends. And they like pick a date and surprise you. And everyone orders you things like merch for your soul. I mean, Tampa doesn't really... Tampa, Tampa yeah. doesn't really, I got this at my bed party. Tampa doesn't really have um, sports, so I didn't really, like, need that much merch, but, like, I obviously want things with my school on it, yeah. and everybody has a bed party. So, but, yeah, like, a lot of people who have, like, colleges and stuff, like, it's really good to have a bed party because you're always wearing stuff like that. The merch, You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so it's, like, really, it comes in clutch with people who have a lot of sports, but Tampa doesn't really have sports, so a lot of people got me, like, bathing suits and stuff like that, which was really nice. Ah, I know, yeah. you know what I mean, the Florida Yeah, beach. they got me bathing suits and, like, gym sets, like, red gym sets, or, like, yeah, like, cute things. Um, That's cute. Shoes. Not yeah. cute things. And then you decorate the whole bedroom. Oh, yeah, and then, you, like, every, all your friends just buy a whole bunch of decorations, balloons, whatnot, and they surprise you. And you come home to your room, all decorated to your college. So your room is college. So if you themed. look at her Instagram, but it is not fun to clean up. Yeah, <laughs> it is not fun to clean up. It took me like five hours to clean, <laughs> and because my friends, my amazing friends, I love them so much, they brought powder poppers. Oh yes, powder poppers. 
Oh my God. Yeah. Red dust everywhere for days. <laughs> days. I had to clean my chandelier. <laughs> I was in the chandelier like dusting it, like trying to get all the red dust out of it. It was so crazy. I was finding red dust in places like everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> it was just everywhere. Like, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, it was everywhere. I, know. I saw that too. I was like, oh my it was God. Everywhere. I'm like, Milani's going to freak out because you're very OCD too. So. Yeah. Your room is spotless. It was not fun cleaning up, but it has definitely been a long week, but Paris was so much fun. I absolutely loved going to Paris with Stephanie. Like I and said- And then who else came? Oh, Gabrielle. Gabrielle came too. You asked Gabrielle to come, Yeah, right? well, Gabrielle, Gabrielle was like, Gabrielle knew about my parish trip, obviously, and Gabrielle is like a little tourist. She, yeah, she, <laughs> she loves, literally is. She loves traveling. Gabrielle loves traveling, and she also is really good with stuff, like- Oh, she planned. I'm just there her, she for the planned, ride. Yeah, she like, planned. Honestly, her whole I'm trip. just there for the ride. Like, like Gabriella, Gabriella's like, wait, wait. So she like, tapped on. She put a whole, a whole itinerary. A whole together. itinerary. Like, it was so crazy. Like, she's crazy. She literally planned out our whole trip for us. It was great. It was great. But, um, love having your brother there because. I just like to sit back and relax, and she does Me all the too. research. Me too. Me like, too. You were saying so I, much right. What was your favorite thing about Paris? I loved the Eiffel Tower. Like waking up in the morning, just seeing the Eiffel Tower, like that was so pretty. Like everything about Paris was very beautiful. Like all the restaurants that we went to were very, very beautiful. Everything that Gabrielle picked out for us was very good. Like um, the, the cafes. The cafes right? were really cute. We went to like cafes. We got. Oh my god! I got a cookie croissant. Cookie, cookie the cook, <laughs> the cookie croissant was so good. It was oh my god! And then the baker took us down to the where he bakes his all his, his goods. Kitchen, yeah. And it was really beautiful sight. It was a yeah. beautiful sight. And you killed it with all your outfits. You looked absolutely beautiful. Yes, I was like, I'm going to Paris, so I need to dress. Yes, good. and then no, but I'm I, I love I dressed all the, funny. I'm funny. I loved our first night. We went to that um, that you know it was like yeah club right yeah the uh-huh. first night uh, we went to this club. It was awesome. We had so much fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And you know what I love that my eighteen year old daughter like wants to hang out with her mom. Like you know yeah. And the last day, I got really emotional and I started crying because I was like this. You know, we had the best trip because I'm listen. You know, you you have to wait till the trip is over to see how the trip goes. And I remember, like, <laughs> on, like on our way to the airport, I get to, I got all emotional, and you know, Gabriella was in the cartoon. I didn't want her to feel bad, but I was like, you were the first, you know, you were the first daughter that asked me to to go on a trip together, and I thought that was like really special. And so, any moms out there um, or daughters, I mean, you should always take a mommy daughter trip. It was absolutely amazing. I think it's something right that you're never going to forget and that's what they both yeah, said to me. Yeah, next time we could even just go me and you. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Yeah, but so, actually um, we can't do that because who's going to do the planning? I know who's going to you were you're going to do the planning. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding, yeah, I'll do it. Paris was very beautiful. I loved Paris and it was so much fun. Thank you so much for taking me, mom. I really appreciate it. Um, and I had the best time ever. Tell us Tell me more of your favorite. Thing. Oh my God, we saw the Mona Lisa. I that was waiting for you to say that. I oh was my God. waiting for you to say we that. Saw at, the at the Mona Louvre, Lisa. Right? Yeah, we went to the I Louvre. saw the Mona Lisa. That was so crazy. Yeah, sorry, I'm literally like out of it. I've had a long week, as I've been describing. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the Mona Lisa was so cool. Like I, I actually know. loved seeing the Mona Lisa. I, got, I know. I got so excited. I don't even know why. I know. Like like Milani is not. Th- the shopping type. Like, she was like, I don't want to go shopping. She, you wanted to sightsee. Yeah, you really did. Yeah, I mean, because. Well, not really. You really, she wanted to go to cool, cool cafes and restaurants. Yeah. And, you know, she definitely, she went clubbing every single night, you know. <laughs> I went clubbing the first night. The second night, you guys went to a five-story club. And we, me and Julie got there. We're like, okay, we'll see you guys later. It was like a little, it was very it was young. Crazy. Yeah. But I was like, you guys have fun. They had the best time. It was so much fun. You know what I like too? It's like, I know like what I noticed too, like as your mom, like, you know, of course I see you every day, but life's busy. Life's busy. Like you guys go to school, come home, we eat dinner. It's like we don't, you know, it's, it's like sometimes we talk, but not so much. You know, because like days are days go by. It's like busy lives. What I notice is like I got to know 
get to, like I, I I found out things about you and Gabriella that I didn't know before. You know, like Gabri- you you take longer, you get ready quicker than Gabriella. Gabriella takes longer. Gabriella reminds me of it's so crazy. I see a little bit of all of you guys, like how you guys are. I see myself in you. Like Gabrielle, I used to take two hours to get Gabrielle ready. Gabrielle takes long. Yeah, I used to take that long to get ready. I one thing about me that actually like I don't know, I don't even know how to do it. Like I just get, I get ready so quickly. Like I get ready quick. Like I mean, I have to say I do too. I not mean. that I don't like getting ready, but like the whole process of just like doing there, like sitting there doing your hair and like doing your makeup, like <laughs> I like it, but like I don't love it. Like. I, I, I'm not sitting there for two hours doing that. Yeah. Like, that's just not what I'm doing. And also, like, I wouldn't wake up two hours earlier for school or something. Or, like, say, like, even, that means I have to get ready. Like, if I have something at five, I have to get ready at three. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, that was no. cute. See, Gabrielle, that was great because Gabrielle got up earlier. They woke up at eight o'clock to get ready, and I woke up at 10 o'clock to get ready, and then we, we would leave by, like, 1030. <laughs> yeah. We, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm fast, but my mom is fast too. But, but I like I yeah, Gab- Gabriella. I think she just she just like blends her makeup for so long. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? She's, like, you she, don't need to tap it that many times. She's just very she's like, very like, OCD. She yeah, is like she, she does at things like the way she. But you know what? I used yeah, to be she's just very like OCD. Her. And then Especially, even with her makeup, I can't. With her, she's crazy. Yeah, she's but funny. I think. <laughs> but funny. I think it's like as you get all, older and. I mean, for instance, I was like that until I had, like, two kids. And then I had to change. Even my first kid, because then I, it's like I couldn't be like that anymore. It's like I had to do things quicker because I had to take care of another person. Yeah. So I think that's how, you know, I think that's when Gabriella, you know, will change yeah, her ways. I like that I get ready quick because it just saves me a lot of time and it's just better. And... um yeah, but it kind of is annoying because sometimes I'll be ready like literally like an hour before all my friends and I'm just like sitting there like. But that's good. And then you can just mm-hmm. kind of relax. Yeah, or, then I just relax. I like, go. Or and you love doing your TikToks. You can exactly. Do that. Then I do my TikToks. And then no, you can that's take pictures, exactly why you know? I love getting ready really quickly because then I do my TikToks. Yeah, you're, you're so- wondering how I do so many TikToks because I get ready before everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I wish we could have gone to like all these other places because we were already there but we could have went to like Italy and all these other cool places but whatever because I have school I have to you finish have school. out school yes <laughs> I can't believe that I'm done with high school it's so weird I can't believe I'm going to college like what the heck time really flies so everybody who when your parents say that time flies it really does fly <laughs> like it really does but I've already known that because time does fly everyone just grows up so quickly and like you said life is busy so time just flies but so, yeah, so what I noticed is, like, I think it's special to take trips with your parents, like, you know, with your you know, father or your mother. And what I noticed, too, is, like, you guys, now that your father lives in a different country, it's, like, when you guys go see your dad, it's different, right? It's, like, you guys spend quality time together because... We don't see him that much. Right. And it's, like, you actually, I think you sit there and talk, and right, and and just talk about things and... Because at home, sometimes, like like anything else, like you get busy with life. Like, you guys go to school all day. And then sometimes you have homework after school. We eat dinner real quick. Yeah, but I feel like I talk to you. No, no, you do. <laughs> but I'm just saying so there's some days that just go by yeah. quicker. And, like, you don't really, like, inter- like, see so many things. Like, we got, you know, we were in the same room together. We got ready together. Like, I just I felt like I got to see things that I've never seen before, which I love, you know? You're so cute. No, I did. And then that's why. And then it was just like, I just got emotional the last day because I was like, oh, my God. You know, I'm like, I'm there. I, I will never forget that either. Like, I loved going away with you. Yeah, that was the a The two of, of you. And it was really cute. I feel like when Adriana graduates high school, the five of us should go away together. Oh, we fine. So I feel like that'll be great, like, bonding, you know? So I love that. I think, you know, just like couples go on vacation and they need a break, I think it's really, it's, it's good for like a mommy-daughter trip to be taken or or a daddy and son trip to be taken because, you know, I feel like that resets your relationship and like, you know, I think it's, it's a good thing. Don't you, don't you agree? Yes. I do. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, Paris is a lot of fun. I really like it. 10 out of 10. Out of 10. Just wait until I start posting all these pictures. Another thing about me, I'm so bad with posting. <laughs> I need to be better with posting. I'm so bad. Just because I know I, posting is a job in itself, right? I know. I know. Because I had to go, because we, we take so many photos. I posted after my prom like five days later. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. And I have had this prom yesterday. This prom yesterday was a lot of fun. I wore, so I guess for my first prom, I mean, for my prom, my senior prom, what, what color would you say my dress was? Silver and gold. Like silver and gold, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, like, not Spanning. really. Like, it was like sparkle. I know. Wow, what would you say that? Like, it was like diamonds, literally. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. yeah so yeah, like it was like silver, but like it, yeah, it was silver. More but, silver, if anything. Yeah, because with, I wore silver earrings. So. Yeah, with the gold accent. Yeah, so it was very beautiful. My first dress, and then yesterday I wore blue because I never wore blue to prom before. Yeah, I love so that. So I was very excited to wear blue, and I like loved a royal my dress. blue. Yeah, I loved my dress yesterday. It was so pretty, and I loved my prom my my prom dress for my prom, and then. Last year when I went to Gabrielle's prom, I wore green. Green is my favorite color, so I loved green. But I wasn't going to do green again. That's my favorite color. I know. <laughs> yeah, but I did green last year, so I wasn't going to do green again because, like, why am I going to do that again? And then I did red one year. So I did red, green, silver, and silver gold, and blue. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Bye, proms. Yeah, no more proms, right? No more proms. So we had so much fun. There was too much to fit into this episode. So we're going to have more with Kim D and Jacqueline. And after that, more Melania. So make sure you guys rate, review, and subscribe. I love, love, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Turning the Tables by Teresa. Hey, tell me what they going to say. Tell me what they going to say. Tell me what they go say, go say, tell me what they go say, tell me what they go say, tell me what they go say.